as she prepares to sail back to Europe after more than a month in the U.S. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg says she knows the shadow of President Donald Trump loomed over her trip. He's so extreme and he says so extreme things. So I think people wakes people wake up by that in a way. Now people must finally wake up uh, because it feels like if we just continue like now nothing is gonna happen. So I so maybe he is helping in a way. The Trump administration's coal, oil, and gas-friendly policies go against Thunberg's main message, which is the world needs to move away from dirty sources of energy to reverse its climate crisis. According to the International Energy Agency's latest World Energy Outlook, nations are not cutting back fast enough. It says carbon emissions are expected to grow 100 million tons a year until 2040. That's because demand for oil is projected to rise by a million barrels a day every year until 2025, before slowing to about 100,000 barrels. This means the world will likely miss the Paris climate target of keeping the global temperature increase below 1.5 degrees Celsius. That limit is meant to prevent catastrophic global heating. But experts say governments that fail to embrace the shift toward renewable energy also run the risk of missing out on economic opportunities. Well, interestingly, I think that China will step into that void on uh, economically. And China right now, just for example, produces 99% of the electric buses in the world uh, at home, more than 400,000 electric buses. They'll take advantage of that and sell buses around the world. To reach the Paris Accords goals, the International Energy Agency says rich nations need to be carbon neutral by 2045 and developing countries five years later. But analysts say that's unlikely if big polluters like the U.S. continue to hold out. Paulo Monticillo, TRT World. Well, for more joining us in the studio is Omid Shokri. He's a Washington-based energy and security analyst and a visiting research scholar at George Mason University. Welcome to the studio. I know we've spoken to you in Washington before, but let's talk more about the IEA's warning. So it says that the climate crisis will only get worse unless governments and business take drastic action. Do you think governments and the corporate sector will listen to the IEA's call? Uh, thanks for having me. As you mentioned, AEA, International Energy Agency, mainly publishing a report and uh, ask all countries and private sector to do uh, US to do a, a, a instruction for uh, decreasing greenhouse emission and uh, ask all countries to uh, take more uh, take more concentration on using renewable energy and decreasing fossil fuel in uh, their energy basket at present we can see some countries such uh, germany and uae uh, they pay more attention to using uh, renewable energy and trying to decrease uh, carbon emission. But uh, as you see, the U.S. under Trump administration trying to withdraw all uh, agreements regarding climate change. And some other major energy consumers, such as China and India, did not pay attention on uh, EAA uh, instruction regarding to uh, in decreasing greenhouse emission. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, if the countries and international energy, uh, international uh, uh, oil companies and international uh, uh, companies want to uh, get more benefit from the renewable, they have to take a note to AOA instructions regarding climate change threat. Mm. Now, the IEA report also says that the world's reliance on fossil fuels, sure. such as coal, coal. and oil, oh. remains stubbornly high. It says that renewable resources aren't keeping up with mm -hmm. the energy demand. Energy demand. Uh, what needs to be done to correct this imbalance? Uh, you know, uh, some major countries such, such as China and India trying to pay attention to more uh, using LNG and natural gas. You know, natural gas and energy is cleaner than oil and also coal. If some major, uh, oil, uh, major energy consumers try to use and increase share of uh, clean energy such as LNG and natural gas, we can see some uh, decrease of uh, green, ca green gas emission in the future. And at, and at the same time, as you mentioned in the first question, all countries 
try to uh, increase share of renewables such as wind and solar in their energy uh, mix and uh, generating electricity. Mm, okay. Now, we know that some countries are better than others when it comes to addressing the climate crisis. Which countries, in your opinion, are doing the most to move away from fossil fuels? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned in my first, uh, your first question, at present we have uh, that Germany and Europe has a, a great potential in wind energy and trying to also increase the share of uh, renewable energy by 2035 by 35%. And we have uh, some countries in Asia such as uh, UAE and Kuwait and also Iran has a good potential in solar and uh, renewable, but Iran under sanction is unable to attract foreign uh, technology and foreign investment because Iran needs foreign in, uh, technology and foreign investment to use its potential to uh, generate more electricity from renewable and de uh, decrease dependency of uh, oil and natural gas. And let me give you more information about the Turkey. We are living in Turkey. Turkey uh, has a good potential in solar and in the wind. Turkey under the AKP administration uh, tried to... Uh, paid more attention in using domestic energy research such as renewable and Turkey has a good potential in solar and uh, uh, wind, especially in uh, uh, Egypt province. And uh, uh, during two years ago, Turkey signed an agreement with the Zemans to build some uh, uh, facility to generate electricity from the offshore wind. And also Turkey mm. is trying to more uh, invest in solar in uh, some re region that has a good potential to renewable. Turkey is trying to increase renewable by a renewable share uh, to generating electricity by uh, 2030, uh, I think 30%. And Turkey also had a good potential to in, uh, produce more uh, electricity from renewable and it helps Turkey to decrease dependency of Nestor, uh, to Russia and other foreign countries. And mm -hmm. it gives an opportunity to Turkey to export uh, an electricity generated from renewable and to be energy hub in the future. Okay. All right, Omid Chokri, thank you for joining us. We'll, we'll see if the IEA's message actually resonates with the business sector and with countries around yeah, yeah, the world. Yeah. As I mentioned, all countries and all business, especially the private sector, mm. needs to cooperate to decrease the effect of climate change because climate change treats all human beings living the earth. That's right. Okay, Omid Chokri, thank you again for coming Thanks into for the studio for us.